Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Oreo Plays Things. Today we are going to be jumping back into Ratchet and Clank 2. For anybody who needs a reminder, we are doing a wrench only run. Yes, this is still a bad idea. And when we last left off, we had just gotten to the desert planet Barlow. I think we picked up the platinum bolt off to the side of the gadget track. Oh yeah, we picked up the uh, the Therminator or whatever. But now we're here on this lovely planet. There's our Therminator. Not actually usable because we're not in the right area. But it's okay because we don't need anything. We just need our wrench. It's carried us through thick and thin and it will carry us through other things as well. I didn't have another good comparison. Oh, wait. Oh, shit. I'm slowly remembering things. And what I'm remembering right now is that I really wish I was about three planets ahead. At least I think it's about three planets. I don't know. In a couple of planets, there is an upgrade to the wrench. And that planet cannot possibly come fast enough. But, until we get there, we're just gonna have to do things the old-fashioned way. There he go, there he is. Can't hit him if I can't see him. Apparently those guys only take three hits. That is news to me, and that is news that I am okay with. Somehow these guys take almost as many hits as that giant purple monster, and that's honestly a little concerning to me. Because I would find that giant purple monster to be a much bigger threat. I mean, it's like a giant purple people eater. Is that guy carrying a laser cannon? Oh shit. Okay, that's not good. Okay. Giant purple thing is dead. What, you get to jump off and have a shield too? That's not cool. <coughs> I don't know who designed that guy, but that is not fair. Then again, we're not on the we're not on the unfair planet yet. There is a very specific planet. Oh my! Um, you guys could all just take a couple steps back. There, I will sign all of your autographs one at a time. Come on, just a few more, and ah, eh, screw you! I'll take you out myself. Alright then. Well, that went better than expected. Aw, oh, crap. Are there three of those? Holy ch- That was not expected. Can I just knock you out? Oh, I can. Ha <laughs> ha You've activated my trap card. You're dead. And- Hey, 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 hey. Nah, I can just kill you. Ha. Ha. The level, it works for me. I am like as unto a god. Ah oh, shit, is that another laser cannon? Oh, well that didn't work. Okay, one, two, buckle my shoe. Alright, he's dead. He's gone. And, alright then. Well that's, that went much better than expected. Apparently all I needed to stop sucking at this challenge was to take a couple day break. Apparently, uh, where am I? Well, there's fire down the Oh, right, this is one of those places where it's like, here, you can use your weapons and use them right. Here, you're supposed to use your gravity bomb, but I'm just gonna do that. I'm just gonna pile drive them off the fucking ledge. Oopsies. Sorry about the language. Ow. Not nice. What the hell? Anybody else? Anybody else want some? I'm ready for everybody. I'm getting experience like nobody's business. I might actually level up by the end of this area. That would be pretty great. I could use the health. I can always, always use the health. I'm outside this door. Health. Okay. Okay, I didn't get followed by any of the purple guys. I need to remember that these guys, there we go, they have time for an attack before I can hit them again. Friggin' invincibility frames. One purple guy, where is he? 
Oh god, that could have gone really badly. Whoa, not cool. Really, really not cool. At least the other guy fell off the ledge, so I didn't have to deal with it. Uh, is there one more left? I think I'm just about at a checkpoint. One of these guys. Basic. Basic bitches. Okay, please, please let this be a checkpoint. I'm gonna assume it's a checkpoint since it just dropped me into a cutscene. It would be pretty stupid if I had to watch that every time. But just for safety's sake, let's uh, let's go around and collect some health. One, two, three. Oh god, this is not gonna end well for me. All right, everybody, back of the line. Come on, everybody, wait your turn. Oh god, big big line, big line. Hey, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa! Watch where you're stepping there, pal. I see you. Don't worry, you'll all get a turn. You'll all get a chance. I love you all very dearly as my fans. And I will kill all of you when it is your turn. Alrighty then. Everything's dead. I'd like to say I have something interesting to say about this planet, but I really don't. This planet's kinda... Well, actually, no, I do have something to say about this planet, but not quite yet. Need a couple more seconds before I can get to, uh, well, not seconds, a couple more minutes before I get to the part that I actually want to talk about. But first, ba -ba -da -da -ba -ba -ba. shit, do I have a save of Ratchet and Clank 1 on here? So I can get all these weapons that I can't use? I'm just gonna skip that cutscene. Hey, got anything? No, no. I'm gonna buy the Walloper just because I can. Even though I probably won't ever use it. Well, it technically, it probably wouldn't break my wrench on the run. Probably. I mean, it is a, it is a melee attack. I don't know. Whatever, I won't use it. I see you. Don't think I don't. Oh god, if only I had the Tesla Claw right now. That would be lovely. There we go, that's what I was waiting for. Alright, and then this should be yep, right back to my ship. So now, I can head back and have me a chat with one of the best characters in the game. I might even let this cutscene run. Yeah, I'm gonna let this one run. God, I love this game sometimes. The dialogue is really great, and I do feel a little bad about skipping so much of it. But all for the sake of speed, considering the fact that otherwise we're all going to see the same cutscenes like 30 times. That one... What's that I hear you say? Learning how to cut things out? Why would I ever do that? Obviously, it's much more fun my way. But no matter, now we get to the part of this planet that matters. The fucking hover bike racing, yeah. I can't remember how to steer this thing to save my life. That's a boost, okay, R1 is boost. Um, people are just falling into pieces in my general vicinity. I missed that boost, that shortcut's closed. But yeah, I am an unreasonably big fan of these racing segments. They control really strangely. The weapons are really overpowered, literally all of them, uh, mostly when they're in the enemy's hands. And the boosts are also really overpowered, except that it's impossible to win these races without boosting. And then you can just slam into those giant purple guys and waste you your entire life. I just went from 4th to 14th. All that being said, these are probably the, one of my favorite portions of these games. 
next to the arenas, but I can't count the arenas right now because wrench only arenas is not a good time. In fact, if anybody has ever pulled off the 100 round challenge in the second arena with just their wrench, I would love to meet them. I would happily buy them whatever they wanted. I know you're usually supposed to say I'd buy them a drink or something, but I would buy them anything. Because that shit's nearly impossible on using your fucking weapons, much less with nothing. I'm trying to remember how many of these races are mandatory, because most of them are just like quick ways to get some extra money. There's only two or three that are actually mandatory. Uh, though I don't know if I have to win them or not, which could could be an issue this time around. I might have to do this one twice. If only the shortcuts were open. The shortcut for this level is way more interesting than the main level, although I really do like that area there with the, the electricity and the water. It's really cool. Generally, once you figure out the main line of the course, it all kind of comes together. There's not really more than one way to do any given course and get a good time. I kind of got this one finally figured out. I'm in third, which I think is success, if not best. Oh, nope, I got overtaken. It's all right, I can pull this out. Second, grab boost, and I missed first, but second's not bad. I only missed it by a little bit. So I don't... Um, no, I guess I didn't win that one. I guess I have to get first. But that's alright. This time we're gonna stay in first. We're just gonna pick up so many boosts, you have no idea. Slow down a minute, we're gonna turn. Boosty, boosty, boosty. Soon, you pretties will not catch me at all. Ha ha ha. Oopsie. Oh, oh, good. I did get that boost. That's good. I was worried. There, there's the next boost. Basically, you can just kind of tap R1, like, all the time, because there's no real bad places to boost. So whenever you accidentally... Whoop. Whoopsies! Wow, it's a good thing I'm not the only one that disintegrated myself on that section, of course. I just saw myself jump from 1st to 8th, back up to 1st, and then I ended up in 7th. Oh man, I actually have more than one boost in storage right now. Ain't that a miracle. Miracle, I haven't used them all yet. Because they're mean and they won't let you stack boosts so you can just go super fast. I don't know why. I have full boost stack. See, this is what I enjoy about this, is if you do it right, you are never not boosting. And that applies to almost every track, I believe. There are just so many boosts. Never not boosting. Hold down the right trigger, you never need to not run. <coughs> oh god. Don't mind me slowly dying. And also quickly dying. I ran right into a brick wall because I was too busy coughing out a lung. Should probably put that lung back in at some point. But right now I got a race to win. How far away from life from the next person? Oh wow, I'm good. Two or three turns away. Yeah. Now, if the shortcut was open, it would lead out to right underneath that bridge, so you wouldn't have a badass jump, but you would have a bit better speed. I think there's more power-ups in the shortcut than there are in the main track, so there's that too. And, woo, success. Much better time. That was like five whole seconds faster. Now we have a helmet that just lets us do more races. But I don't need to do more races. So now we're going to go to the next place we need to go. And if I remember correctly, this basically means that this entire session is just going to be gimmicks upon gimmicks upon gimmicks. Because after we finish the hoverbike race just now, now we're going to head off to another space battle. Because that's everything that the players wanted and more.